All right, guys, so I'm out here replacing struts on the CRV. Um, I was getting ready to unhook my tie rod end, and the tie rod end is still tight, but the boot, like a lot of the rubber components on this thing, has just dry rotted. So if you look at the boot, it is just split. It's just, just dry rotted and broken half. Um, now, a lot of the auto parts stores sell some universal boots um, that you can just buy to replace torn boots or ripped boots or dry rotted boots like this. Um, but I'm looking online. Looks like none of the auto parts stores in my area that are still open tonight have them in stock. A couple months ago, I ordered some TPU filament for my 3D printer. And so if you don't know what TPU is, or if you're not familiar with 3D printing, uh, TPU is a very elastic, like rubber-like filament, and your printed parts come out flexible. I actually 3D printed this, and so you can see it is flexible, and it's just a replacement uh, windshield washer cap. So I got to thinking, can I just 3D print a new boot? So that's what I'm going to try. So I loaded up Fusion 360, took a few measurements off of the tie rod, and modeled something up real quick. So there it is. It's printing. It's been running maybe 10 minutes. And so we'll see how it comes out, how it fits, how it looks when it's all back together. Okay, so here I'm in Fusion 360. Um, I've already designed this, but I'll just take you back through the history. So um, started off with just a simple sketch, drew an inner diameter, um, and I did that at 28 millimeters just because that's what my tie rod measured. And then I offset the outer diameter by originally two and a half millimeters. Um, and then I did an offset plane. And so I knew I wanted my height to be 25 millimeters tall. So I offset the plane at 25 millimeters. And then on that offset plane, I drew two more circles, 12.7 uh, millimeter inner diameter, offset the outer diameter by two and a half millimeters again. And then I extruded the top one down five millimeters and the bottom one up by five millimeters. And then I turned on a cross section like this. So it would just basically cut those in half. And then I just used the simple like spline tool to make this profile and closed it in to make a face. And then I just revolved it around and joined all the pieces together. Exported that, loaded it into my slicing software, sliced it, sent it to my printer, and it just finished up. So let's go take a look at it. All right, so there it is. You can see it's squishy and so looking at the small end, um, I know I'm going on backwards, but that's going to be a snug fit once it gets up there to that thicker part of the shaft. And so now I'm going to slide this on. I'll probably pull this back off and, and put some gre more grease in it uh, just because I did lose a little bit. but. I might need to actually make it a bit taller because there's not at least one handed I'm struggling to, to get it shoved on there far enough. So let me uh, put the camera down and see if I can't get it on there. So it doesn't sit nice and flush up here like the other one. Um, and I think I may be made this smaller flange a little too thick. I think it needs to be able to kind of I think this, this taper part of the shaft needs to fit down further in here. And I could probably drive this on and get it to go. But I think I'm gonna change the design a little bit. So, all right, so let's do some revisions here. So uh, I want this top to only go two and a half millimeters. And now I need to revise this curve. So I, I kind of think I don't want it to come out like this anymore. So I'm just going to delete this whole thing, kind of redo this.
Okay, so this one fits on there a lot nicer. Um, I'm really curious to see how it's going to compress. Um, but I guess the only way to know for sure is to tighten that down on there. So it may be... I mean, it fits, fits snug around this top part, fits snug around the bottom. Um, I need to actually put a little, put some grease in there uh, before I get too far. Okay, so this is what it looks like torqued down. It, it squished in a different manner um, than how the original one was. Squished more around the top. Um, so that may eventually cause some uh, friction rubbing on the the link here or the little arm here. Um, I think ideally you'd rather have it flexing out here with the least amount of contact on this surface. Um, but I think it'll be all right for right now. I will keep an eye on it, um, both sides. I, I need to go print another one for the other side because it too was dry rotted. But I think it's gonna be good for now. And worst case, I can, if I notice they split open or something, um, this is pretty easy to, to swap out and put a new boot on. I can just order some polyurethane ones or if I can find them in stock here in town, I'll just go pick some up. So took it for a little drive around the block um, and they're still, didn't rip. Um, so this little bit of turning here and there uh, hasn't really affected it yet. I need to take it and get it aligned uh, because I do think the aftermarket struts where they bolt to the knuckle right down there. Uh, there's a little more play than there was with the OEM uh, struts. And so I think it's affected the camber. Um, also, I, I haven't gone far enough to really notice if it pulls one way or the other. Um, but just to make sure that these arms are positioned the exact same place, um, it's not gonna hurt to get it aligned. But I thought this was a pretty interesting use case for 3D printing. Um, I'm gonna keep an eye on it and uh, feel free to post down in the comments um, how long you think it's gonna last. Um, I'm really curious to see how long it lasts myself and check the video description. I'll post an update as soon as they either fail or um, if you never see anything, feel free to reach out in a comment and I'll let you know how they're doing. I will share a link to this 3D model uh, down in the description. Um, obviously it's not gonna fit every year make a model, but this may work for you. So that's going to be it for this one, guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you like what I do, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, we'll see you later.